Hi there, friends, comrades, and neighbors. It's Jason Wyman here. Yeah, I'm coming to you from my bed with an art update. I'm not really feeling lazy. Instead, I'm feeling like I need to rest. Life's just been a lot. It's been a lot good. It's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of emotions. And some of those emotions aren't so great. And let me tell you, resting helps me be able to navigate all of the fuckery just a little bit more and put all of it into a little bit more perspective. And so I wanted to come to you from a place of laying down rather than a place of being sitting up in front of a camera sharing with you what's going on. So, what is going on? And as you can see, it's now a little weird. Well, I have a lot happening, and Queering Dreams is a large part of that. This November, we have a series of incredible events and workshops coming up. This weekend, we have Tea with Rupi and me, where we're going to be talking about the launching of an immigrant artist network. We also have 60 Second Advocacy with Momos Chico, Sketch Noting Dreaming Abolition with Todd Berman, Reclaiming Story and Dismantling Narrative with Nadine LaFond, Dreaming A Space for Applied Dreaming with Crystal and Me, Queer Spell with Ash and myself, and also a conversation about queer art with Juan Carlos Escobedo, Crystal, and myself. God, all of it is amazing, and all of it is exhausting. Not in any bad way, just in a way where it's a lot of work to like actually create community. And in the past, I would have just plowed through all of that shit and just been tired the entire flipping time. I did absolutely everything. Well, I'm a little bit older. Well, I'm a lot older than I was in my 20s. I'm 45. And, you know, while I might be unemployed still, and I still might worry about where my paychecks are coming from, but, you know, I have a little bit of things saved, you know, not too, too bad. I also still need to prioritize rest. Yeah, I do. I need to prioritize laying down and even if I can't sleep, closing my eyes for 20, 30, 40 minutes to an hour, or even more. Stopping and listening to an album. Just being alone with myself. It's crucial. It makes it so that I can actually enjoy all of the things that I'm actually doing and not feel overwhelmed. Could I be doing a lot more? Of course I could. Am I doing enough? Most definitely. So, while I wanted to share with you all of the good news about all of the things Queering Dreams is doing, I also just want to give you permission to, like, go lay the fuck down. To take a nap. To stop your scrolling and to turn off the TV and just be for a moment. It might feel awkward and weird, and your mind might race. I know mine does. But the more you do it, the more spacious you'll feel, and the less willing you'll be to put up with bullshit. Not because of what other people are doing, but because when you're able to be quiet and be with yourself, can start finding a little bit more comfort with yourself. And I think we could all use just a little bit more comfort with who I be, with who you be. So, even if you're busy, even if it feels like you have no time, take a moment. 
right now, not in the future, literally right now. Stop. Close your eyes. Breathe. And take a minute. I'm going to go rest. I've got a big afternoon ahead of me, and I want to feel prepared. And I don't need to do anything to feel prepared. I just need to be. Ciao. Hey there, family, comrades, and neighbors. It's Jason Wyman here urging you on the other side of this screen to like and to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you are so moved, please share this content, or any content, really, with your comrades, family, and neighbors. I really want to grow this community of weird queerdos. Can you help me do that? It's how we cultivate camaraderie, solidarity, artistry, and love. Thanks so much for tuning in and for sharing. Ciao. <laughs> La 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 la